Greetings, beautiful soul tribe. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a quick energy check-in to see how you guys are doing. Are you thriving? Are you guys getting in there and doing your inner work, your shadow work, um, releasing what no longer serves us for our greater good? Sometimes we don't really know what, what we're releasing, but we do feel, uh, feel that we need to let go of things we feel like we need to um, clear out energies that are not serving us. And these could be not even uh, recent energies. It's not just going to the store and, ooh, something rubbed me the wrong way. It's not just that. It's it's It could be old programmed energy that we need to let go of. It could go back as, 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 far as past lives it could go back as far as childhood traumas um just so much that we need to let go of so much that we are bringing up and during this time this now moment when you see this message i know you're going through it too i know there's two pillars of, of energies that are happening there's releasing and there's bringing in also and it's just not even on that level there's good energy and then there's bad energy. Of course, we know this. There's also stuck energy and energy that uh, we need to push through. So I guess there's more than, there's just different types of energies that our body um, encompass that we need to let go of. It could be thoughts. Thoughts are energy. It could be people. People are energy. So a lot of transition is happening right now. Um, so I just wanted to come in to inspect what I expect and see if you guys are going through the same stuff that I'm going through. Maybe not the same, um, <laughs> maybe it's not the same scenario, but it is the same lesson in some shape or form. Um, so a lot of us are really being challenged to, to see shit for what it is. Um, let's see, this past week, it was, I really had this epiphany and I thought I've already dealt with this, but it was at releasing attachments. And I've talked about this earlier, earlier on, um, in, uh, in an episode, I can't remember how far back it was, but it was brought up to my attention by my higher self for me to understand again on a different level attachments, releasing attachments. So there's a lot of work we all do. We all do. We do. <laughs> I can't even speak right now. There's a lot of work we do where uh, we are releasing what no longer serves us, right? So that's the, that's the, the main release what no longer serves us. Attachments no longer serve us. And it's not just people attaching to us, courting onto us, not energies that are attached to us, also what we are attached to. So let me share this with you. I didn't even realize how much of an attachment issue that I had until maybe like, if I, I believe it was like a week ago or something. And it was something so different than I would have expected. Something so, something just so, um, Surprising is the word, is the word I want to use. I was attached to old scenarios. And yes, I know this is the thing, right? I was attached to, to um, controlling situations. So let me give you an example how this can tie into maybe you're going through something similar. Um, let me try to do this without being distracted. <laughs> um, okay, so I was um, attached to my house. And what happened when I sold it? What's going on while well, as I'm in the process of selling it? Um, what's happening in it? What's happening to some of the stuff I left? You know, it was uh, what's happening to the people in it, in the house. This is just crazy, right? It's crazy, especially for me to, to share. <laughs> so I started feeling these types of ways. And I'm like, why am I, why? What is going on here? Prior to that, I was attached to a phone number. Because when I moved, I got rid of my old phone number. And it really, really interrupted my, my energy. I was like, and I didn't know why. I'm like, I, can't, I was so attached to this phone number I had for like 10 years. And I'm, I'm like, what's going on? Hold on. 
Okay, so I was, I, I didn't realize that I was attached to, um, to things. I was here um, releasing attachments in many forms, but this next stage was releasing what I was attached to, which was one was an outcome, two was control of, of situations, that um, I'm just really calling my shit out because as as we are healing ourselves, we're we're having to be conscious and and aware, bringing awareness to our actions, bringing awareness to why we feel um, the need to let go, why we feel the need to protect, why do we feel the need to um, to heal certain things, why does things come up, and whenever things come up for me, like releasing attack what i'm attached to i go deep i'm like why am i so attached to this outcome you know because we start getting in the way of our blessings you know the divine wants to bless us with so much but then we get tested and the test for me was the attachment of things which i thought that i healed follow with me guys i thought i healed when i left my house and i got rid of a lot of stuff and i'm like excess things i got rid of that stuff i got rid of i downsized my clothes you know i was releasing what no longer served me so this is a this was a new it was a new lesson for me but it's almost it was like a new upgraded lesson to learn again because like a different phase i guess is what i'm wanting to say the first phase was letting go at the house the second phase is letting go in addition to well, the second, yeah, the second phase, I'm getting it, I'm talking this out as I'm on here. Um, there's no, I didn't write no notes, I just wanna flow with this and it works. Um, follow with me. <laughs> so the second phase was um, really letting go, you know, letting go of control, letting go of, of a phone number that just, it's a phone number, but guess what? It's energy, that energy that I put to that phone number to keeping it for however many years, it was at least 10 years, at least 10 years, maybe 15. Um, and guys, as I'm, I'm getting distracted, all these distractions are happening right now as I am trying to record. Right now, as I'm here, this door just opened. So I'm gonna pause this video really quick and the, the last bit part, I was getting distracted, so this is something. So the message is so powerful for you guys that these distractions are starting to happen and like the door is literally open. I don't know what's going on, but that's crazy. Two distractions, one message. <laughs> and I was talking about phase two as well. So start learning these synchronicities. They're not, there's no such thing as a coincidence. So whatever that meant to you guys on your end, the door opens like, oh, yeah, yeah, see, I'm a po, waya, 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 kawaii, and a hata. See, um, as I questioned it, um, the message, yeah, waya, and a kata, amba, and a ha, to do a siya, kata, ah, ha, ya, ka. So that was not a distraction. Oh, shit. Okay, that was not a distraction. When I'm talking about releasing, releasing attachments, letting go, the door opens so that I can let go. We're letting go. We're opening the door. We're opening the door to release attachments, what we're attached to, not only what's attached to us. There's many times where we know that things are attached to us, like people, for instance. Um, they pop up in our head. Mercury retrograde. If Mercury retrogrades, uh, retrograde brings certain people popping up in your head every time, these are people that you need to heal whatever you have to heal. Um, they're, they're brought up to not rekindle, but to heal. Forgive yourself, forgive others, whatever it may be. So it doesn't matter when you're getting this message, but I'm just saying um, maybe even not even in Mercury retrograde. So you have specific people that come into your mind. Um, doesn't matter if their energy is good or bad, but they're coming into your mind. And then out of nowhere, you're like, wow, I've been thinking about the situation for 30 minutes. And I'm like, I just, I just, my consciousness just told me, what am I doing? Why am I thinking? Why are these thoughts that are not mine circling through like, um, like a, a fly in your brain of the same old shit from the past? This is an attachment. 
It could be, and I'm not sure, you're going to have to use your discernment to figure out if it's an attachment to you or if you're attached to them. Either way, there's a cord, there's a connection. I would say um, remove cords, do a remove a cord removal. Um, but also, because this person's corded to you, you know, figure out if you are corded to them, you're attached to them, there's something that you need to heal, but you do need to let go. You need to forgive yourself, forgive them. It could be our family members. I use people as an example because it's easier for me because I I know what attachment to people um, are, what it, what it feels like on both ends. People being attached to me, me being attached to others. And I know how to heal it. I know how to remedy it. And it isn't easy to figure out. And there's not, you're not gonna be able to just go through a bunch of YouTube videos and like, all right, I'm good. All right, I dis I disassociated. I I detached. This is something that has to be done within with you. You have, I mean, use use the healers. Use God. You're doing your own healing. Know this. So when a healer is healing you, they're holding sacred space so you can heal yourself. You can do this. So guided meditations help us, but you're doing the work. So you ha you're gonna have to go inside and be guided however you want to get your guidance from to to release so if it's stuck energy from like um and i'm going i know i'm talking about attachments um this is just i don't know i i, I just it, there's so much going on in the world today so many people lost their jobs you know and they're having to let go of like items that they were attached to there's so many people that are relocating due to catastrophe and you know whatever it may be it, whatever your situ situation is maybe people are falling out of relationships because it's not working and they're having to let go of their old house or the old friends that were okay so talk about not getting the message and there was a, already two interruptions make that a third i the reason why this automatically or magically um, came on, it's because um, hours later, I went back to the recording and for 30 minutes, um, I froze. I was frozen like in this stance of like, <laughs> so um, I was talking about um, so many people are releasing or are, are, are changing jobs, are coming out of relationships, are coming out of um, getting divorced and having to leave um, the old behind and start new. Um, the very first video that I, I recorded that was frozen had so much inspiration in it. And I'm like, why wasn't this message coming able to come out? Why was there so many distractions? Why? I breathed through it as this is going to be like the third time recording whatever messages that were coming for the collective being attached to a phone number sounds so minor right but it really wasn't it was creating a blockage so picture that uh picture you can only take with you to the next realm to ascension what you need what what what's most valuable to you a phone number that i no longer used that i had for 10 years was like a relationship an energetic relationship right that i had with this um and letting go like it was releasing what no longer served me it was like my heart wasn't feeling that i needed this phone number to, to follow me um it wasn't resonating with with um my needs, my, whenever I thought about this number, I'm like, my, my heart doesn't feel good. And my, I'm like, no, I could let it go. But having the problem <laughs> or the challenge to let it go um, was, was a thing, but I did overcome it. I went to the root to why. So it's the newness, the newness, the change, the transition, the transformation that we, we go through. And it's periodically, seems well it kind of seems quite often that we're going through transformation transition it's it's more and more these days than ever than i've ever ever experienced and also going through the phase of the unknowing you know just clearing out so much so i just want to tell you guys who are really going through it 
which I know you are, and I don't know why this message was was cut off. Um, hang in there. For what you let go of, something else will come in. You're making space. You're making room. This also goes for like photos in your your phone, in your computer, holding on to old stuff, old energy. Photos are energy. They are definitely energy. Let it go. Old phone numbers. Um, Facebook, old friends that don't serve you. They, they're not, they don't know the new you. They don't know the you, you, they don't know the true you. These are friends from high school. These are friends from uh, another time, another place, another energy, because we continually shift. And I would like to say, it's not just timelines. It's, um, lives, past life. So for me, my past life was childhood. My past life was um, a teenager. My past life was living in the state I lived in, growing up where I lived. These are past lives that I've lived that I can remember. We could go further, go deeper beyond this, this vessel in this time. So um, Releasing attachments that we are attached to is a theme. <laughs> and it's in phase, it goes, it comes in phases. Phase one, phase two, phase three. What's phase three? It's probably gonna be just go with the flow and not be attached. So the idea is to not have attachments. Boom. Shabam. <laughs> the idea to removing attachments is to not have attachments. Ta-da! Right? How do you get there? How do you get to that? How, how do you survive life without attach, being attached to something, being in love? Well, what's an attachment? Do I love this phone number? Do I love this house? Do I love this person? What's an attachment? Do I feel I need to have energy with this? Do I feel I need this? We don't, everything we need is already in us, within us. Anything that's tangible, we can always get something, you know, there's, it's, it could be replaceable. Um, and it's energetic. So, and this goes for stuff that's maybe um, was passed, passed down to you. Say you lost something that was super special to you on an energetic level. You may have lost the coin, the necklace, the earrings, the, pe the pendant, the note, whatever it may have been that was left to you, that meant so much to you, but you didn't lose the message, the energy, because we carry it with us. We have a choice to keep energy and we have a choice to let go of some. So just keep that in mind. I'm not sure exactly where the other video was going, but I did save the last piece of that video that I was, um, when I was channeling through um, here coming up, but I wanted to do this insert because I, I don't know why I kept getting stopped with recording. I don't know why I was trying to get blocked. What blockages am I, am I facing? And was it a blockage? Was it a distraction? Was that another phase of, of overcoming distraction? Was that a test of patience? Was that just something that didn't need shared? So many different emotions, right? So I came back on here to kind of do this insert before I tag on the other piece of that message that I had. Um, so I send you guys so much love. Thank you for being here and hearing me rant time and time again. We've got this. All these energies that are, are coming at us, all the, this transformation, be proud of yourself. It doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter what you feel you've lost. Be proud of yourself. Your value is within. Always. Jobs that no longer serve you. Divine intervention comes in and redirects you somewhere else. That relationship you thought was solid and divine intervention says, you've been here way too long and you know it. Let it go. That house that had too many memories. 
time for you to go. It's time for a change. It's time to get out of what's comfortable and step into your light. And in order to step into your light, you have to get out of what's comfortable because it's not always light. We have to go through the shadow side of releasing attachments in all forms and going with our heart and discovering our superpower, discovering our authentic self. And when we're in our authentic self, we have everything we need. And sometimes we'll go in and out of phases feeling, yeah, I have everything I need today, all is well, all is great, up and down roller coaster tomorrow. It's like, oh my God, what did I do? What did I, you know, it, it can go like that. You can go up and down and it's okay. That just means whenever you're on your downside where you're feeling some type of way, it's just more clearing, layers of clearing and healing that's needing to be done. And that is perfectly normal. We clear in layers. So sometimes whenever we're clearing our energy, it seems like we're not getting anywhere. We're like, shit, we've been here for this long and I'm not getting anywhere. I don't feel like anything's clearing. I feel some type of way still. What is it? What do I do? What do I do? There's a lot of YouTube channels you can go to, but it's our responsibility to hold our light. And what I do is I, I do go on to guided, guided meditations. I do clear my own energy, but sometimes I have to go for a walk. Get moving. See what works. Because it, it isn't, I guess, a lot of things that we, we've been taught or taught ourselves um, doesn't seem to work as much anymore. It's because, I was just talking to my friend today, um, it's because the energies are intensifying and we're dealing with different types of energy. So first we start with baby energy, baby toxic people, you know, and as we continue to go and move up and we know how to shield, we're perfectly capable of shielding this, this type of energy and releasing and transmuting and all that good stuff. But we go up, we keep pillaring up. And as we're going up, there's more things that want to come at us. So we're training. We're healers in training. We're remembering, although we're in training, we're still just remembering who we really are and um, connection to ourselves on how to clear in our own special way. And no way is right or wrong. It's what works best for you. And maybe one, one day you're clearing the way I clear and then you may hear a, mem a thought you're, you're going to hear a thought or see a thought or feel a thought, however it comes in. And it's going to tell you to do something different while you're doing that. Do it. Because that could be your higher self saying, hey, this, this is a, your ancestors, your guides, your ascended masters saying, hey, try this. And it could be easier like that. So be creative. Just make sure you're trying. You're setting the intention to protect your space and your energy and clear and heal. Invite your guides and ascended masters in. Stay grounded and anchored down so that everything, all the messages and all the healing that you do, it still it filters through. You're helping the collective. I send you guys so much love. All right, let's see the back end of this video that's been cut off I did cut a piece out like 30 minutes of, <laughs> of me speaking inspiration I was it was good and that was just for me to have that was my inner inner knowledge talking to myself that's my higher self telling me what I needed to do so maybe that's why it did not save it cut out I was frozen the whole time but I could still hear the background music that I had playing <laughs> I don't know. I can't explain it. The doors were shutting. I was getting distractions. Internet was freezing. <laughs> Anchor your light. Continue moving forward. Six months ago, I probably would have been frustrated and like annoyed and all kinds of emotion with that. But I embraced it. I feel like the message wasn't meant to be shared. And that's why it froze up like that. That healing message was probably definitely for me.
instead of being shared. <laughs> Looking at a different angle. All right, let's see what's up. <laughs> Your heart's not feeling it every time you're like, why do I have this phone number? Uh, why do why do why am I allowing this to happen? And you feel in your heart it's not a good feeling, and you're like, uh, let it go. And once I let it go, I was like, Psh. why was I so attached to it? You know, it's kind of like letting your kids grow out of the house, becoming uh, uh, empty nesters. Shoot, I was a heck of happy when I, <laughs> my kids, my kids were, were leaving the house because they were ready. You know, I'm like, it's time, isn't it time for you to move? Isn't it time, isn't it time for you to move and start life? You know, and, and, and some people are attached to their kids staying home and they get sad about it. I was like, I love you. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Call me every now and again with love. I'm very close to my children. So <laughs> um, anyway, I wanted to come in and call my shit out today um, about attachments and releasing them and um, identifying that you are attached to things is the number one. Yep. Getting to the root of why you're attached to it is number two. Plucking that sucker out and letting it go is number three and healing. Bringing in good energy. Just picture you're making room for light. You're making room, you know, you have your luggage. We're ascending, we're, we're moving on, right? We're all moving, we're all moving on. We're all dealing with ascension, everybody. So you have your bag to pack, you have a suitcase, and your suitcase could only be filled with things that you love that you want to take into the next the next phase of your life, the next chapter of this new earth, the new earth, this new earth. We're entering the phase, we're creating it. So you have this luggage. And before you take that trip, you got to really go in and see your shit. <laughs> I don't need this phone number. This, this phone number is taken up space in my luggage i don't need that these old memories of old people that i'm no longer even talking to these facebook friends from high school that don't even care about what i'm i'm doing or they don't know me anymore i don't need them you know i don't need this i don't need this i don't need... invite what you want into your luggage and start packing as we move forward into the next phase of our lives as we are transitioning into the new earth and we are creating it there is only room for love and light. <laughs> huh. Well, I am done with my messages. <laughs> I send you guys so much love and I know, I know it's been a tough month. I know it's been a tough few months. It's been a tough year. The last two years, I know it's been difficult. I felt it. I feel it. I continuously work on myself and then I come on here and I try to help what I can do with, with you guys. We're all doing our work and we're all really seeing things for what they are. The truth is coming out everywhere, in everything, in our lives, in the media, with all the other shit that's out there that people are listening to, seeing all the UFOs and space spacecrafts and the clouds and the clouds covering so much, like there's so much happening. So much is being revealed. It's amazing to know, to see, to feel, and it's and, and it can be overwhelming. I know. Hold your light. Continue clearing out what no longer serves you, protecting your energy by surrounding yourself around people who love and appreciate you. Surround yourself around the energies of love. 
And if you happen to be in a situation where you, you don't feel the love and you're surrounded by that kind of shit, just out of whatever our job is to be here on this earth, transition, transmute, transmute, um, be a termaline, trans, a, a transmuter. Share your love, share your light, and do not allow any negative, toxic energies to um, to infect you. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard. You're, you're shielding. Um, you're protecting. But some energies can sometimes be a little bit more uh, powerful, not than you, but may seem a little bit more powerful. Um, they're not. Love always wins. No response is the best response when it comes to dealing with toxic people, toxic energies, people who want to just energy vampire your light. They've got to start doing their own work because you are doing yours. Sometimes people that aren't, well, not sometimes, the people that are not doing their inner healing, their inner work, the only way that they could bring in the light is to target the light, be around the light. And, the only, and because they don't match frequencies, dark and light, the only way that they can get to the light is by trying to trigger them because they can't meet their, vibra meet their vibration in a way of light. They're just so heavy and not doing their shit, right? So they want to trigger a response. What happens, guys, when a narcissist or somebody triggers a response for a light worker or just any human? Once they get this, this narcissist wants to get some emotion out of, out of somebody because they're empty, they're angry. They need some type of energy and they don't know about doing their work. They don't know about healing themselves. They don't know about that or they don't care. Not everybody is here to be us and do our, do our work and heal and move up. So they try to suck our energy. No response is the best response. Send love. Don't answer that text message. Don't you even open that email. Block. Because for those of you guys that are who are dealing with like toxic people and there's an email that comes in because they can't respond to you in text or you won't answer their calls, they want to send an email. This, ha this happened to me before in the past. And you know it's from a toxic person. Don't even read it delete block actually block then delete um, and then go delete your archives you know so you don't see it guess what no emotion zero <laughs> the light always wins control your energy protect it that's one thing we can control we can control our energy by protecting it and bringing in more light. More, look at this. Look at this light. <laughs> I don't have one of those um, those lights anymore over here. I would have been traveling with a big old bag of for um, the what are they called? The light thingies. <laughs> um, anyways, I learned a lot by releasing attachments. Ones that are things that are attached to me things that are, are um, I was attached to, and I continuously learn, um, see, see fragments of attachments that I'm still working through. And as soon as I see this, feel it, I let it go. I, I go in and I do the work. And this is, um, this is a part of healing. It could be anything. It doesn't even have to be attachments. It could just, it could just be emotion, an emotion. Um, maybe you feel a certain emotion about your family members. Maybe you feel um, emotions about your boss, you know, that's, you know, that they trigger you to just like, they're just, I used to have a boss that was, um, she did not like anybody that showed their light. She didn't like anyone that shined brighter than her because she wanted, um, and it's a sad thing, guys. You know, people are out there. She was she was there at the company for a very long time. And anybody that knew more than her, she wanted to keep them in the corner. She wanted to keep them um, somewhere distracted and no attention to them. And if you're dealing with those kind of situations at work, you got to get out because there is better. 
there always is. You manifest. Did you know you're a powerful manifester? You really are. And you know, it's kind of crazy because in the past, we're able to manifest shitty things versus like, <laughs> versus like all the wonderful things at first. And you're like, why is this happening? But you speak it into existence because power is the power of emotion, right? So you think of it like this, like even like these kids chanting hip hop songs to shit music. And then they're like, oh, my boyfriend cheated on me. Well, you're in the car chanting with your friends like little witches. <laughs> in a cult to this music that's demonic and evil and and you're wondering why you guys are all dealing with the same shit you're calling it to you with emotion you're like hey <laughs> i don't even know a song that i i don't even listen to that kind of music but um you know so if they start chanting something like that one um chant money to me comes easily whatever that you know i always say easily effortlessly, abundantly, repetitively. Start chanting, chanting that. You know, I am love, I am light, I am powerful. I speak words of love, truth, connection. Da. <laughs> you know, so you are a manif powerful manifester. So start, start uh, manifesting what you want in life, in your day, in your day. Call it out first thing in the morning with gratitude as if it is already done. I am so grateful this day went so well and visualize it. My boss was in an asshole today. It could start something small. She was so grateful and appreciated all the work I did. I'm so grateful today. Everything went well with my family. They were so happy and I could feel the connection and we had a great dinner. I'm so grateful, whatever it may be. I'm so grateful my car got me to work. Um, it was, it's running great. I took my car in to get serviced and everything is best case scenario. I'm so, so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Try it. It works. So thankful. I can walk. I'm so thankful. I can move. I'm so thankful. I have thumbs. I don't know. You know, it starts, you make it fun. I <laughs> make it fun. It's okay. And test it. Start testing it and watch what you're saying. When you start to feel negative, the emotion of negativity in a response or in, a, in, in just your day, breathe. I love breathing. <laughs> we, who doesn't love breathing? Deep breathing. So, um, yeah, breathe and think of a great memory, like maybe a kid laughing, a little baby laughing. Um, I think of little Addie, she, when she was like two, she was running down the hill, um, at a golf course and, um, she's running so fast, all happy, little legs going, little legs, ah, and kids don't care when they're happy. They, they make these weird faces. They don't care. They're, ah, and happy. I'm, I wasn't sure she was scared because she's going down a hill because she couldn't stop or if she's just enjoying life and she's about to just fly. I didn't know, you know, I'm still going through it. And I'm, I'm running and laughing. And then uh, <laughs> she's totally fine. She's oh, She was okay. She got up and laughed. She like, she like did a little somersault <laughs> and I could see her face. She was laughing. She gets up where she sits up and kind of like, oh shit, did that just happen? And then she stands up and she goes, ah, and she's laughing like, I didn't know if she was gonna cry or what, but that's my happy time. That's my happy moment. And um, so anytime I get like a little trigger or something, I could see her running, ah, so young, wild and free. And find your happy thought, you can use mine. <laughs> All right. I love you guys so much. I've been on here for a while. I just wanted to come in and call some things out for what they are and to tell you to hang in there. Hang in there. Yes, send me some emails. Let me know how you guys are doing. And um, I read them. I'm so grateful for the ones that come in. And let's connect. And if you would like a personal healing session, get a hold of me and we can work something out. I am on a time difference, so I do accommodate different time zones. 
Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if I can help you and let's move forward and um, continue to shine your light. I love you so much. I'll talk to you guys soon.